Mr. Beast's biggest mistake yet. That's what people are calling it. So if you don't know Chris Tyson, a person who is a member of the Mr. Beast channel, has recently come out announcing that he has taken HRT, which is indeed hormone replacement therapy. Now there's been a lot of YouTubers who aren't happy with this, they're pissed off, all right? And we'll be looking at everyone's reaction in this video. And even Jake the Viking, who used to be a part of the Mr. Beast channel, has actually also responded. So we're in for some big drama today, boys. Or girls. Leafy is here was one of the YouTubers to respond and he said Mr. Beast creates trans people. Kind of sounds like he's got some sort of factory where he's just pumping out trans people 24-7. What? Now a lot of you have probably seen Sunny V2's video and it's not great. Okay. The problem wasn't the fact of anything he said in the video, it was more of the way he presented it. He made the video seem very dark, like it was a true crime video, but it was about a bloke transitioning to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are we doing here on this plane? If you have seen the Sunny V2 video, drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. Now, a lot of people actually noticed that Chris Tyson was changing in the Mr. Beast videos. He was appearing, you know, more feminine. He was growing his hair out, he shaved, and, you know, he's growing his nails and everything. After he announced he was taking HRT, it was then confirmed that he is indeed on a new path of life. And Mr. Beast also responded to the, the backlash, I guess you could say, and we're going to take a look at that later. One of the first people to respond was Sneeko. If you don't know who Sneeko is, he is an American content creator slash former YouTuber, and a lot of people call him the B-Tech Andrew Tate because he remains in his masculine form while he lets people shag his girlfriend and he watches. Whoa, whoa, I'm, yo, I'm not kink shaming, all right? Being a cuckold is the most dominant thing you can be. But apparently Sneeko used to know Chris. Uh, this is what he had to say. Chris, I know you. I know you, Chris. I know that's not you. I know a lot of people in, in your inner circle are not gonna tell you the truth. I will tell you the truth because I have no other motive, bro. You're making a mistake. I don't, I don't think that you're a bad person. I don't think that I'm better than you. Okay, well, apparently everybody Sneeko knew Chris. Well, clearly not well enough. And give us one good reason, Sneeko, why we should trust you. Because you know what they say, don't you? Never trust a cuckold. Because I could agree with you right now, and you'd be the first person to watch me get fucked by the internet. But everybody, I do have some news. I do agree with Sneeko on this next point. And see that this is something that he's doing because he is brainwashed by social media. Because he's living in the West where this is pushed by a bunch of garbage. If you were really his friend right now, you would hear what I'm saying, because someone's going to clip this and send it to him. You would tell him you've made the wrong decision. Transgenderism is a legitimate mental illness. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let me just touch on the first point, okay? Social media can definitely brainwash you. A lot of the time, people don't know their identity because of social media. That is true. If I sat down for a month straight every day and watched people shave animals, don't you think by the end of it I'd want to shave animals? Fucking right that would. But I'm not saying that that's what happened with Chris, okay? I'm just saying be careful. If you're addicted to social media, it can seriously fuck you. And Sneak will be there to watch. And in terms of transgenderism being an illness, chill out, all right? Just calm it down. You don't know how it feels for someone when they feel like they were born the wrong gender. Now, there are indeed more influencers that did respond, and Mr. Beast also responded to all the drama. But how ironic is it that after Chris announced his transition, Chandler got baptized. <laughs> So there's Chandler right there, almost being drowned in the glory of God. I will say that I am also Christian, and that's not a joke. I actually am, I've got my crucifix on. So stay away, evil. Chris Tyson is 26 years old, and he has just decided that he is secretly a woman. Chris Tyson is married and has a two and a half year old. First of all, I don't think he just, you know, woke up one day and thought, fucking you know, hell, I'm a woman today. You know, that would be a bold NPC move. I think it was probably manifesting over a long time. I mean, let's be real here. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking hell, I'm a five-legged elephant today. Oh yeah, I finally decided today that I'm gonna be a Twinkie. And he just woke up one day, told his wife, t didn't tell his kid I assume, because the kid's probably just starting to talk, but told his wife, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be your husband anymore, because I'm, I'm gonna be your wife or something. I'm, I'm a woman now. And you know, if we are gonna talk about this, um, you know, he does have a two and a half year old child, and he does have a wife, and if you put your situation, like, I see everyone supporting Chris, and that is a good thing, but we have to remember that he does have a wife and a, a child. You gotta feel sympathy for his wife, because they are going through a tough time, do you know what I mean? Obligation to his wife to be her husband. Has an obligation to his wife to be her husband. He took a vow to be her husband. He has a role, he has a job to do, he has a duty. He owes it to his kid to be that kid's father. Ah. 
This is a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, he did take a vow to be her husband. I mean, with the child, I mean, he can still be there for his child and still love the child just the same. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments because my mind is fucking me after that video. Sneeko? Sneeko, are you watching? <laughs> Sneeko will always be there, my friends, to watch you get fucked. That's the thing. Anyway, Chris did actually respond to, you know, the comments people are making about him being there for his child. This is what he had to say. And I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as the best and happiest self for him. In a way, this way, for Tucker. I mean, you know, what can you say, really? I mean, if he thinks that this is the best version of him, fair enough. What can you say? What I do think is a mistake, however, is how Chris decided to try and sue somebody for defamation. Fuck me. What is going on? This guy Yoxic tweeted, old Chris would make fun of new Chris. And Chris decided to DM him and sue his ass. Booyah! Take that. I saw this tweet from you today and wanted to say my lawyers will be in contact with you. James Charles, is that you? Don't know why you or anyone would tweet something so hatred towards anyone on the internet. Well... Chris, it, it is the internet. That, that's what people do. Everybody shits on everybody for their own entertainment. That was definitely way too far. I mean, suing someone for tweeting old Chris would make fun of new Chris. Is it really hatred, though? <laughs> you know, I don't think it's Emperor Palpatine sitting behind the screen. No, old Chris would make fun of new Chris. <laughs> Embrace your hatred, Chris. Join the dark side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, too far. Just too far. My advice to Chris, ignore everything. Just ignore, 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 baby. Now, once Sunny V2 released this video, someone tweeted, this new Sunny V2 video really feels invasive for all the wrong reasons. And Mr. Beast responded, talk, you know, basically talking to everybody, saying, yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend. <laughs> you won't understand why I laughed, but it's just my head, all right? I got some crazy shit going on up there. He's my fucking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Yeah, he's right, you know. Just, everyone, take a chill pill, alright? You know? Go and play some Modern Warfare 2 and get pissed at the game instead. Comment down below what you think about how Mr. Beast is handling the situation, by the way. Do we even know about the drama? Is this the first time you're hearing about it? Let me know, because I really care about your response. And Jake the Viking, everyone. He responded. <laughs> I done a lot of crack cocaine before this video. You know who Jake the Viking is, right? He's that really buff dude. Now, Jake the Viking used to be a part of the Mr. Beast group, and he has actually responded, which is fantastic. Let's see what Jake the Viking had to say. Everyone deserves, life, life, ha life is so full of up and downs. The other day, everyone deserves to be happy. If Chris doing this transitioning to become a woman is making him happy, doesn't bother you, doesn't bother me at the end of the day, don't fucking care. Well, that wasn't quite the response I was hoping. Oh, hang on, there's something else. Again, dude, something about Chris, let him do his thing. I don't fucking care. My personal opinion, I think it's weird, but whatever. I never expected it to happen. When I was there, he was always the, uh, what's what I'm looking for? He was the Boy Scout. He was like, look at my southern shit and all that. I don't know, dude. So Jake the Viking thinks that Chris's transition is weird? Jake never expected it. Okay, fair enough. There's nothing hateful about that. He did get some backlash about that, funny enough, which is really fucking weird. But he's right. Everyone does deserve to be happy, which is what I've been trying to say this whole video. I should have just played the Jake video and then just left it there, really, shouldn't I? So I understand where Jake's coming from. He never expected it. Okay, it's a surprise. And he thinks it's weird. That's probably because of the Chris he used to know. You know, Jake used to know Chris, like, really well. They used to film videos together all the time. And there's a difference between him thinking a certain scenario is weird than sitting there and saying, I know you, Chris. I know you really well. You don't know what you're doing, Chris. This isn't you. Are you insane? Chris, you're losing your mind. Chris, this isn't you. All right, Sneeko. <laughs> Look, that dude comes back in my head and he lives there rent-free. But comment down below, guys, what you thought of this whole situation. It's pretty, pretty wild what's going on out there, especially with the Sunny V2 video being released. People aren't happy one bit. But yeah, subscribe, guys. Leave a like down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.